Good morning, folks. We're coming to you a bit later this morning, but with no less to watch for than normal. Little Sundiving Comet probably won't make it there today. Anyway, we've got news about objects on satellites, Earth's magnetic field, major storms on Earth, and more. But first, we're at spaceweathernews.com and looking at the last day on our star. Once again, not much in terms of eruptions or solar flare flashes. Just a few incoming coronal holes as the X-ray flux shows just how low the solar flare output has been. Sunspots haven't been able to produce, and now we only see spread umbras without much chance to fire. Solar wind regained a bit of calm from the earlier stream. Phi and other telemetry are somewhat back to normal, and Earth took no significant disruptions in terms of magnetic storms. Hold that thought as we come to 211 angstroms and the southern coronal hole turns in three main openings to the system, and while we waited for him, the seismic activity has been of slightly lower range, like a 5.4 that struck South Korea yesterday, little bit of damage, and now we also have two volcanoes on watch in New Zealand after White Island's alert jumped from 1 to 3, with passive ash emissions beginning. So folks, we've gone most of the year without having to debunk silly satellite fears, but we knew it wouldn't last forever. Over the last month, the net has been clamoring about this artifact seen on Stereo A, HI2. Well folks, every time bright Venus gets in the frame at that angle, it reflects off a piece of the telescope and makes that shape. This is the first occurrence back in 2007, and it has happened a couple times since then. If you actually look at the PDF of the scope design, you can look down and see the piece shaped exactly like that. Interesting article out about solar storms and Greece's power grid failures. Interestingly, but perhaps not surprisingly, the coronal hole driven storm cycles and the decline from solar max and during solar minimum were actually more disruptive than the flares and CMEs during solar max. Remember I told you to hold that thought about Earth not having geomagnetic storms? Well, in England yesterday, they heard ringing from the sky, strange creaks and moans and resonance, and it's likely that even though we didn't have a storm condition, the bell ringing resonance of Earth's magnetic field getting ready to kick in may be just the explanation we're looking for. Magnetic pulsations match up with many of the strange sounds reported in the past, especially the ones that were not proven to be blatantly hoaxes. We're coming next to a supporting concept article and how the auroras, which are the particles that create that ringing resonance in the first place, dance to the rhythm of Earth's magnetic field. Definitely a good explanation forming for those strange sounds in the sky. Last but not least, we've got a typhoon heading at Taiwan. It's going to luckily miss the Philippines, but we remain on alert to the north. We've got a pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.